Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today is the weekly drive! Yes, that's correct. Uh, we, you've got, you guys have been voting all week for trucks that I've been putting up that we've been reviewing and now this, today, is the day that we go and do the weekly drive. So, the winner, as you can see, is the actual W900 Wrecker. Now, it was a tie between the Kenworth T2000 and the W900 Wrecker so therefore it becomes my choice and that's where I put my vote in. It's the only time that I can put my vote in. Uh, now the reason I chose the Wrecker is because it does have a few bad things with it. Yes, it's you know got a few scratches and dents and things that need fixing up but it's something different and that's what really sold me because it's something different to the norm and I thought that was well worth a mention in the weekly drive. Whether it goes any further than this, well, that's a different story. But anyway, let's get on the road, and I'll just fix up my keyboard and that there now. So uh, let's. So we're in there now. Okay, now we are off to. Let's see. We're going from Elko to Salt Lake City, um, just down the road, not too far. Doesn't look too far anyway, but we'll see. It could actually take longer than what you think. So let's get this rig on the road. And um, for some reason, the wrecked truck is at Walbert. So I don't know what the go is there. I don't know what has happened there, why it's at Walbert. But um, it is. Right. Um, okay, so we're going that way there. I'm going to put on, where is it? Not the radio station for crying out loud. What is that? No, my garages? No, I've gone and pushed the wrong button. I want uh, F3. There we go. All these damn keyboards and uh, all these buttons on my keyboard and that makes it hard sometimes. Uh, right. Now make sure I'm getting on the right side of the road. There we go. Now, it's, um, yeah, it was very interesting this week to see which one was going to win. Uh, I honestly did not think this one was going to win, but it did. And I think it was based on the sole thing that it was something different. And that really, I think that's what made it, that it was something different. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, these different ideas like this is what, uh, can really make it, you know, make or break a truck, will make it better anyway. So now what's next? What else could you do? Well, I suppose you could chuck rockets on the back of a truck. That would make it interesting. Oh, we stopped. Oh, I stalled it. Oh, what am I doing? Who knows? Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing myself. Now, um, if we have a look at the load, there is another thing that I noticed with this as well, is that it says bus, one ton. Oops, that's a small bus. It's a very, very small bus. So, um, I don't know, it's not that heavy really, so it's not going to be even any kind of challenge for, the, for this truck at all, so that's really weird. But uh, never mind. That's all good. Um, Salt Lake City. I've never been to Salt Lake City. No damage. That's good. There we go. That's what we want. Now, uh, some of the other trucks that were in there this week. Let's see. We had the W900 for uh, ETS2. I mean, that was nice. Uh, a couple of things that were wrong with that that a few people did mention that, you know... It looked like the truck was hit with golf balls, is one of the uh, funniest comments I thought. Um, that was actually quite interesting, because it did. It looked like it was hit with golf balls. So, uh, yeah, all those little dents and that all over the side of the truck, very interesting. Um, why they were there, I have no idea, but it did look like they were in replace of the actual um, 
where the rivets were, the pot rivets. So that was really interesting how that actually got messed up. Made no sense to me why, why it was there, but anyway, never mind. Um, another one was the Kenworth T2000. We'll definitely use that one um, in a video because that was actually, uh, it was a good truck. You know, it was, it was only a beater, but it was well worth a mention that, you know, um, well worth a drive because it's, um, it was, it's really nicely done. Pull into the way station. Wow. There's no weight in this truck, so I don't really need to use the brakes. There's no weight in the trailer, so it's just some some more weight would be good. So about eight tons, nine tons maybe, ten tons. Right, eighteen ton vehicle gross weight, eighteen ton. Okay, thank you. And away we go. I can't wait till they put in illegal um, weights. So you just blow past the, uh, the way station and you don't stop. That's going to be interesting when somebody's going to do it. Either Modder's going to do it or SCS is going to do it. It's going to be interesting when it happens though. Now speaking of SCS, uh, let's talk about the SCS news this week. Well, uh, SCS has been talking a lot about Nevada, oh, sorry, about Arizona, not Nevada, about Arizona. So they must be getting really, really close to um, finishing up where they are and getting that public beater out. So they did say it a couple of weeks. So it's getting close to that point where it should be out in, you know, this week, this week, next week sort of thing. More than likely after I finish recording this, it'll probably come out, say tomorrow maybe, I guess. I don't know for sure. Um, but that's just out of guess. Would not surprise me. Um, but they were talking about the actual road system. Now, the road system that they were talking about is uh, the original road system from California, California and Nevada was made like two years ago. So they were using the actual technology um, that was on hand at the time that they were using for Euro Truck Simulator. So it's, uh, it isn't as good as what they can do. But they're talking about Arizona is going to be more modern technology. So it's going to be more up to date, uh, better quality. So, you know, better graphics and that sort of thing. So that's going to be um, really interesting. So, um, so when they put that out, it is going to be very, uh, very, very good with the actual graphics. So that's great. Um, some of those people who don't have good systems will probably get upset maybe at the actual graphics quality. I don't know how good it's going to be, but we'll have a look as soon as we can because um, I'll be cranking my graphics up full ball and hoping that it's going to be loving every second of it. I know I will be. Um, what else? Well, they, their roads are more modular now. So the roads will actually clip together a lot better so that they can actually, welcome to, welcome to Utah. Um, so the roads will clip together a lot better and it makes it easier for them to make roads and also modders as well because they will put out the actual kit for you for the modders to use um, for you know for blender uh, sorry not blender sorry for the 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 tools that come with the game will actually be uh, you'll be able to use them as well so it'll clip together a lot easier so that's great as well um, really makes it a lot easier uh, they've also talked about um, countries and city roads will be crossing highways. So you'll be able to see your country type roads um, crossing across major highways like this, which you don't see much. Well, actually, you do see it here in Australia. It's just uh, not, it's more out bush way you see it. 
Um, so that's going to be interesting as well. Make it more, they're trying to make it more realistic as, as they possibly can, which is what you want. Now let's take a photo. Let's take a photo. I mean, I am so excited for Arizona to come out. I cannot wait. Really can't. No, that's not a good photo because there's cars in the road. Let those cars pass. Oops, oops. There we go. <clears throat> I don't mind cars in the background, but not right next to you. You want to see the truck, not the cars behind. There we go. That's actually nice, that one. The desert in the background. Let's see. Um, we'll put the blur strength up. The depth will increase. And the focus position will drop that back. And then we'll put uh, saturation. Gives it a bit more vibrant color. There we go. Now I like these action type shots. As you've probably seen on a lot of the, the video, the thumbnails that I do. And I'll increase the field of view. There we go. Okay, some nice photos, and we can get it up to 80, 80 miles per hour now. This, this looks like one of those classic highways out of movies. That's what this looks like. I'm going to jump in that lane there. I don't think I should be in this center lane. Now, um, a couple of things before I forget. Now, there will not be a convoy this weekend, guys. It is Mother's Day here in Australia, and if I don't celebrate Mother's Day, I'll be a dead duck. So, um, I really need to get in there and celebrate that, so uh, I'll be, I won't even be doing any streams that day. I'll uh, try and get some videos up for you to watch, but... Um, We'll see how it goes. I mean, that's, it's gonna be a busy day. It's like Mother's Day ends up being an all day event for me, which is, uh, yeah, crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, no convoy this week. However, we will be doing it the following week and it will be American trucks. So uh, make sure you're there for that. That should be a lot of fun. All right, we're sitting behind this guy here. Uh, mate, can you go any slower? Whoa! Gonna cause an accident going that slow. Jeez. Boss didn't like you give you the heavy load with the slow truck. Here we go, got around him. Whew, safety hazard. Yeah, this truck seems a bit wider than normal. Yeah, it does. It seems a lot wider than normal. Anyway, I'll just inch over there a bit more so I don't run people over yeah um, what else um, oh yes for the starting from scratch series now um, I need you to if you would like to vote for what truck to be my first truck then please head on over to the starting from scratch videos don't put it in the comments below here in this video Put it in the starting from scratch 
uh, video and tell me what truck you would like me to uh, drive in that series so we've got a lot of people at the moment saying the Kenworth K200 as the first truck um, and there's also been the Peterbilt as well Peterbilt uh, 389 some people have said that as well so which one would you like me to drive you need to let me know not in the comments here in the comments for um, starting from scratch series so just pick one of those videos and put it in there probably the the latest one would be better that's when I'm asking the questions <laughs> so there we go that's um, look we're at our destination already that has not taken long what that was only so short I thought that was going to be a lot longer Wow that was uh, yeah well anyway but we are in for those of you who like to know which maps I'm in today well this is the coast to coast and the Mexiscan map is what we're using uh, I haven't had a chance to have a look at a new map this week because I really feel that these two maps here are updating by far more than any other map I mean these guys are cranking out the the updates so fast that every time you think that you've seen it well you haven't because they've gone and updated it and they're working together too which makes it even better man it's so bright in here it's so bright need to knock that down to low there we go oh screw you I couldn't even see the bloody lines so bright out here look at that see if I can fix it there we go that's better that's that um, yeah up yours pal um, that color correction thing sometimes plays up so I've got a color correction mod in thanks screech bum um, and yeah that seems to uh, change the colors really nice but every now and then it does play up so and then you get what happens back there where it just goes all funny right um, oh yeah with that T2000 guys the Kenworth T2000 uh, Creech Bum was telling me that he did not work on the sounds for that truck uh, it was those sounds were actually uh, used from another truck so more than likely the W900 I guess uh, and then they were actually compressed which uh, as he was saying wrecks the files so um, yeah so that's why they're not working properly apparently so uh, I do apologize there to uh, Creech Bum. I, it had your name attached to it. So therefore I automatically assumed that you were working on that one. Um, I also thought that that was the one that you showed me as well. Which um, obviously it wasn't. Maybe I was looking at the wrong thing at the time. Ah. Oh. See there's no weight in the back. I'm expecting there to be weight in the back of the trailer. But there's nothing. So therefore I keep stalling it. It keeps stopping too fast. Right, so we're dropping it off at Eddie's. <laughs> That's weird. Your best family market, is it? Well, I don't know what Eddie wants with a dodgy truck, but anyway, he's going to get it. Yeah, we'll park it over there. And, uh, there we go. Is that Eddie there? Is that Eddie? That could be Eddie. Just saw the front of my truck there. It scared the pants out of him. It scared the pants off him. Um, let's just swing this round. Oh, got to make sure. Oh, that's going to. Uh, this has got a longer wheelbase, so I'm going to have to spin this around.
Right. We're going to be able to get past that pole, yeah. Yeah, past that pole. Let's straighten it up a bit because it's all cockeyed. It's all skew if. Right. Hopefully we can get this straight in because it's only small. But you know how I am with small trailers. I suck at small trailers. There we go. That's going in nicely. And there we go. Eddie, you have a delivery. Delivery! <laughs> There we go. That is the delivery for Eddie today. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, I do apologize. That was a little bit shorter than what I thought it was going to be. Um, since we were going from one state to another, I thought it was going to be a lot longer. But anyway, uh, my apologies. We'll do some more with this truck, I think, uh, at some stage. It's, um, it is interesting. And um, hopefully in the future, there's a few things that annoy me will get fixed. Like all those scratches and scrapes all over the roof there. That's annoying. Um, you know, a couple of other things there as well. But anyway, hopefully they'll all get fixed and we'll see another version of this in the future. Hopefully. But, um, guys, look, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior, then make sure you head on over to our channel. Uh, we've got a ton of uh, Euro trucks, uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, uh, American trucks, and uh, heaps of other trucking videos there as well. Um, not only uh, just the ones we're seeing, you're seeing now. Uh, there's also heaps of other games that we play as well. And also check us out on Twitch, which we pretty much stream almost every day. But that is pretty much it for me today, guys. Don't forget, no convoy uh, this weekend. And don't forget to vote on the uh, Starting From Scratch series. But keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we're taking a look at Starting From Scratch. And right now, we're doing a vote for the very first truck I need to buy. Just down there, we're taking a look at the Kenworth W900 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!